Right then, welcome to another riding times on Revelator Alpha. I just thought I'd hit a few uh, back trails here. Uh, these are, I've been on before, but I thought I'd just come and ride them a different time of year and see how they've uh, fared up. So we're now getting into autumn. As you can see on the trees up there, the leaves are starting to turn. Getting a few more leaves on the floor now, so, you know, it'll start. These are really, really, really nice rides from now on. So this is a very short byway here. It actually takes you through some lovely scenery. And then it locks on to uh, a few others, uh, which are really nice too. So we'll uh, go and give them a go and see what's happening. Right, so uh, broke out of that, so that was a very short one, wasn't it? But this is still actually the byway, just a gravel track here. Uh, but it's more like a private drive with houses, really. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get to the end of this one. And then uh, go and join another byway. And that'll take me through the forest a little bit more. And uh, see, see how far I can get. Alright, back on to the next one now. And it's just this one here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Well, these tracks are all pretty, pretty flat anyway, hard and compacted. So if you, you know, as, as I often say, if you want to go and ride uh, out uh, off road, you want to try your luck, you know, for a little bit for the first time then these are the kind of tracks that you want to head out on, you know, why they're relatively flat, yeah you've got a few potholes and things like that, but um, obviously this time of year it might start to get a bit muddy, you know, but apart from that, I mean, it should still be definitely passable uh, by bike, so, you know, go give it a go. Hello. All right. Lots of activity today. It was a pretty mild day, mild autumn day, early autumn day. So people out and about doing their doing their thing. I'll say that when the tracks are. Well, this is interesting. So the tracks are, you know, dry, but as, as I always say, you know, get a bit of rain, then all of a sudden they'll start to cut up quite quickly. And here, you know, especially after the weekend, and you'll get a few, you'll get a few of the uh, four by four brigade getting through, and that really cuts it all up. Right, they just keep on going slowly, progressing along. Easy peasy. Hello. Okay, all right. Let's see where I end up here. Yeah, so some parts are really actually quite uh, quite nice. And others are already starting to cut up. Well, let me just have a good look here. There we go. I remember coming up here a couple of years ago in the winter time and these this track here was just it was sloppy it was, it was you know, deep ruts everywhere it was, it was potholes it was covered in 
water as well, standing water in the puddles. You know, I mean, that, that was a bit of a bit of an ordeal, really. And because I was on the road tyres as well at the time, so just going to show that you can do it. But it was uh, it wasn't pretty, that's for sure. Take a right down here and see where this takes me. Wow. Beauty. I think there's another trail around here somewhere, just going off onto the right. There's a big lake as well, and I'm just wondering whether that's still accessible. Now, what's that through there? That was something. Don't think there is anymore. There is a trail there, I could see it, but it was uh, cut off by a fence. I'm just wondering whether I could just uh, go and have a look. road access there but they've obviously blocked that right there let's have a look yeah there's a barbed wire going through there oh, the next SPS yeah, barbed wire can't even get through that oh shame right okay I thought there was a trail well there is a trail obviously but it's just a foot trail and I don't think it's even supposed to be that to be honest with you with a barbed wire across it, but people have gone to have a look at the lake. Right. Oh, yeah. What if we come out of there? to the next little bit. If you ever sort of turn and go around a bend on gravel as well, the idea I suppose is to try and keep the bike upright as, as possible. And that's off-road riding or in general. You know, you don't really want to be leaning the bike over because, you know, the, the, the tyres are just going to slip from beneath you. So if you ever go around a bend, you know, if you're going to lean the bike in a little bit, lean to the outside of the bend. And that will kind of help balance your weight on the bike and you know, keep it more upright and keep the, you know, the tyres, you know, into the patch, uh, into the track a little bit better. I'm sure there are lots of videos out there that can, you know, uh, I don't know which way can I go this way. Oh, okay, let's go and, go and give this one a little row. Yeah. Looks like there's a gate open down here. going on. What is the odd buildings over there?
by the way, this way, right, okay. Just follow the road signs, all the track signs. Beauty. I think we're coming out onto, back into civilization now. Where is it? Oh, well, that's nice. It's a nice view. So is that you go back to the same track from the opposite direction, it's a totally different view. Amazing. Alright, okay. Let's see if I can get a better view of those buildings over there. Yeah, so I'm not sure what they are in the distance. Those sort of old, deserted, sort of wooden shacks. Now I think I've seen those somewhere else before. And you get them all over the countryside. And in Ireland you get them as well. But they're usually raised off the ground and they're sort of really old-fashioned uh, grain stores. Uh, but obviously they wouldn't be so close like that. They'd actually be raised off the ground. I've seen them something similar. They're, they're very similar to them anyway. And you get very similar designs uh, in different parts of the world actually. Anything that keeps uh, whatever you're trying to dry out off the ground, um, you know, to, so rats can't get uh, to it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've seen those. I actually come across those quite a lot recently. Whereas before it must have been blind to them, blinkered, you know, hadn't seen them. But now I'm seeing them all everywhere. So there you go. Just goes to show what you can find out in the, out in the wilds. Alright, so, uh, this way, yeah. Nice. This is kind of gravelly and sandy here as well. It's just like in there. You can see there's a bit of a hill on the, the right hand side. It wants to let me pull me down to the bottom, so just let it do that. I'm not going to fight it. A bit of sand here as well. Let the front tyre search. Just keep positive control with the steering though. Loosey goosey still. And, uh, yeah, okay, we've got this Ford here. I'm going to have a look at it first of all, make sure the depth is okay for me. this as I always say you always get off the bike go and have a look at it see how deep it is that trail through on the far side it's got a bit of a dip there but it's you can see right through it and it's hard all the way coming out Yeah, no rocks. The rocks are on this side. 
clear path on that side. <laughs> Looks like somebody's trying to drive their 4x4 four four into there. Alright. Okay, right. So this is the line I'm going to take through there. Is on. Alright. Up on the pegs, keep power on. Keep power on. And that's it, we and away we come. And so you see you went in gently, went in slowly. Yeah, foot got wet there, but only came up to the lower part of the engine, well away from the air intake. That's what you want to do, make sure that the surface is clear of rocks, you can see through it. It's not too deep that you're going to get the water into the engine, which will mess up your engine. And away we go, right, that's cool. Lovely. Well, coming to the end of this one now. So I haven't been here in a while, and we're still. We've had a little bit of rain. In certain patches, it's a little bit wet. But on the whole, it's uh, still easy, easy riding. It's great, and the you know the rivers are um, still relatively shallow. You know, so there's uh, lots of good, lots of good riding to be had. All good stuff. Right, okay. Well, so coming to the end of it, I can see a house here right at the end of the trail. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, riding time. So, catch you on the next one, whenever that is. Cheers now.